Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today what I wanted to do was unbox and set up the Comica CVM WS50 lav or lapel mic that can be used to wirelessly transmit audio from a source to a smartphone. So uh, here's the box. As you can see, it's pretty nice here. Um, although this is kind of interesting here on the side, I guess it shows a picture of, uh, I don't know why you would want to put a lav mic on a snowboarder. And I guess on the other side, even more ridiculous, I don't know why you would want to put a lav mic on an eagle, but apparently uh, it looks like you can do something like that. So pretty standard box here. On the back, as you can see, here are some of the features. The thing that we're mostly interested in is, again, the wireless transmission of an audio signal from a source to a smartphone. So you can use this for uh, improved audio during a recording. So why don't we go ahead and just open this guy up and see what it's like. So I'll just take this sticker off here. It actually doesn't stick very well, but if you open up the box, let me see here. Actually, what we end up with inside here is this is actually kind of nice. It comes with this nice carrying case, it looks like. So let me get that, that box out of the way. And let's take a look at opening the carrying case. So inside... All right, so we've got a couple of things here. Let's turn it around maybe like this. Got this nice little piece of foam here to protect everything. Inside, you've got some uh, silica gel. Uh, okay, I'll keep that off to the side here. Got a nice little owner's user's manual here. How to set this up, both English and uh, Chinese. Okay, great. And also a uh, warranty card, not terribly interesting. Okay, here's some more of the interesting stuff that we care about. So I got the version here, which comes with the little desk tripod here. So this thing is kind of nice. It's a little tripod here that you can push this button in and then rotate the head to adjust the angle here. So this will be nice here. I'll set that off to the side. And then what else do we have? We have the actual, here we go. Here's the transmitter unit. So the transmitter unit comes with a nice belt clip here in the back as well as a quarter inch uh, threaded female insert. Oh, it's even got this nice little protective little piece of plastic here on the screen. I guess we can take that off now because I don't think we're going to need that. Okay, I'll take that off. Here we go. All right, so that's the uh, transmission unit here. As you can see, it's got a charging uh, USB port to uh, charge the battery, as well as a 3.5 millimeter jack that can be used to uh, plug in the lav mic. And also hidden in there, there's a tiny little button for resetting the unit so if you ever have to you can stick a pin down there and push the reset button we've got a power on so if we just hold this and then it should power on there we go got a power on and we'll take a look at this a little bit later here in the setup portion of this video here but we can obviously change channels here it's got a nice led here to indicate uh status if it's on or if it's muted okay so that looks great let's go ahead and set the uh, transmitter unit off to the side Let's pick up the receiving unit. So here's the receiver unit. Again, we've got this nice little piece of plastic covering and protecting the screen. I'll go ahead and pull that off now. Okay, so here's our uh, receiver unit. Again, similar. We've got a power button up here that if you just press and hold, we should get power. Yep, we can choose the uh, channel. And let's take a look on the side. Again, yep, we got micro USB for power. And we have a... Uh, 3.5 millimeter TRS uh, jack here with the reset button combo that we saw earlier on the transmission unit. Nothing else around the sides here, although it does have this nice feature here where you can swivel these arms out, it looks like, and then unscrew this top here to make this go up and down. And as you can see, you can jam your smartphone in right there, and then this will all be one unit. It's got a nice quarter mil, uh, quarter inch uh, threaded insert here, so it will fit on tripods, as well as the insert here in the top if you'd like to stack things on top. So great, that looks pretty good. The receiver unit looks nice. Let's go ahead and see what else have we got here in the box. So, all right, here's one very important cable we're going to need. So this is the cable that's going to connect between the receiver unit and our smartphone here. So we notice here that this is actually a 
3.5 millimeter TRS on one side and a 3.5 millimeter TRRS on the other side. So uh, we'll set this up later. I'll just go ahead and put this off to the side for now. Let's see what else we got. Okay, it's nice. They provide you with a nice standard to micro USB cable here for charging purposes. Okay, that looks okay. And then up, ah, here we go. This is one of the units we definitely care about. So here's the actual lapel or lavalier mic. So we've got the, uh, the lapel mic on one side and then a 3.5 millimeter TRS on the other side. Great, let's put that off to the side. And then finally, what we have inside this box here is, oh, it's a nice little windscreen muff here. So I guess if we take this thing out, Yeah, it's one of these, I think I've heard them called beards or little uh, muffs. So I guess if, if it's really windy where you're filming here and the included foam windscreen doesn't cut it, I guess you can just jam this guy on top for even uh, more wind protection. So that's actually quite nice. So let's go set all these items here together and we can take a gander of what was included. So yeah, this is uh, this is not a bad little package here. So we see we've got all the units and equipment set up here. So that's the unboxing portion. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at getting this guy set up to uh, collect some audio. All right, so we've got most of our components sitting out here. So let's go ahead and get this set up. So probably the first thing you wanna do is to probably make sure that both of your transmitter and your receiver are fully charged. So just go ahead and plug in the supplied USB cable to the end of either the transmitter and the receiver and as you can see as soon as you plug it in the light just basically goes orange and you probably want to wait for this to turn green here so for illustrative purposes i'll just do this very quickly for both of them just to verify that it's operational here so yep as you can see now the transmitter is charging so again just go ahead and charge them up i've already done that so these things should have a reasonable charge to get going. So what you can go ahead and do is let's just start working here with the transmitter. Just go ahead and press and hold the power button slash mute button for a couple seconds and it should flip on. And there we go, it's on. And one of the nice things as you can see here is it's got a button here so you can pick whichever channel you like. So you can just keep tapping set to check, uh, to set this to a specific channel. So uh, I think for us, channel zero is probably fine. I don't think we're gonna have any interference. Also notice down here at the bottom, you have a, a visual indicator of the, uh, the audio level that you're receiving via the lapel mic. So obviously it's zero right now because we don't have it plugged in. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's just go ahead and grab our lapel mic here. Again, take the 3.5 millimeter jack and just plug it here into the mic slash line. And as soon as you do that, Let's go ahead and, whoops, sorry, flip this around so we can see this. If you notice now, the audio level indicator down at the bottom is working. So if I'm quiet, you see it goes to zero, and if we start talking, it starts picking it up. So that's perfect here. So it looks like we're actually receiving um, audio from the lapel mic going into the transmitter. So let's see if we can get this paired up with the receiver now. So the receiver, same thing. All I need to do here is come over here and press power and hold it down and on it comes. And again, we can set the, uh, the channel. So actually this is interesting. So notice right now that it's picking up audio from the lapel mic here on the transmitter. And now it's getting wirelessly sent to the receiver here. And you can see the audio levels going up and down up and down, up and down. Great, so again, you can obviously cycle through the channels here, but as soon as we change channels here, you notice, well, we got a blinking green light saying that we don't actually have a connection and the audio level is zero, so that makes sense. Let's go back and set this to zero so it matches with the um, transmitter. There we are. And maybe now's a good time to illustrate so we have a wireless connection here, but the transmitter has this nice mute functionality. So if you want to use the mute, notice you have to press it once to turn the screen on. So this is a little bit insidious here. So if you just tap the butt, the mute button right now, it's not actually going to mute the mic. All it's going to do is it's going to wake up the screen. I'm going to have to press the mute button a second time when the screen is active in order to actually mute the microphone. So notice the VU levels are still rising and falling the, where we're getting audio. So if I click this once, the screen comes on. If I click it one more time, the light goes red and now we're actually muted. We get that mute icon, we don't get any 
sound here on the transmitter side and as you can probably expect on the receiver side our audio levels are also zero. So this I think is all working well. Why don't we do this here? I'm going to go ahead and unmute this. There we go. Again, you have to hit it once to light the screen up and the second time to actually implement the action. Let's go take this transmitter. I'm going to go stick it in another room where there's some music playing here. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll be back in a second. All right, so the transmitter's in another room about 30 feet away behind a couple of closed doors here. Um, but as you can see, our receiver is picking up an audio signal. You can see the uh, audio levels going up and down here. Now, we may want to monitor what that actually sounds like to make sure the audio is reasonable, and that's why this unit has a really nice feature. If you flip it down here in the bottom, there's actually a headphone jack or another 3.5 millimeter TRS slot where you can put in and plug in a bunch of uh, a pair of headphones here if you'd like to monitor the audio. So for our purposes, just to make this a little bit easier to see on uh, a video, let's just grab a pair of how about computer speakers here, it's just some outputs, and I'm just going to take the output from the speaker and let's plug it in. Yep, and there we are. So we can hear the audio coming and what you can actually do is if you would like to change the volume here and make sure you were getting appropriate levels here is up here on the top there is a well it's kind of hard to see yeah a volume knob so by scrolling that up and down you will see we'll change the level on the receiver so if I put it down it's getting quieter and you can see that same audio is not as loud here so you can tune your audio levels by rolling the volume knob here. So I'll turn it back up. Great, okay, so I'm not saturating the signal here, so this looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just go ahead and, well, let's, let's go ahead and mute this, actually. I'll just turn off my headphone monitor so it doesn't interfere with our discussion here. And now I think we're finally ready to basically uh, send this signal to the smartphone so we can capture it. So at this point, we're going to need our uh, our uh, adapter cable, our 3.5 millimeter TRS, right? So if you notice this one here, it's got a tip ring and a sleeve. And the gray side is actually a TRRS, right? It has a tip a ring, a ring, and a sleeve here. So you want to make sure that the black end, right, the TRS, this goes into the output here of the receiver here. So I'll plug that into there. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my smartphone here and we can take the TRRS or the gray end and plug it into the 3.5 millimeter jack on the smartphone. Great, and then finally, whoops, sorry, kick the tripod there. Finally, what we'll probably do is let's go ahead and just make sure that this all can get hooked up um, appropriately. So again, what you could do is you could just spin this out, spin this out, twist these, and then I'll just open that up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and place my smartphone inside and then tighten it down. Right now I've got a nice stand and what I can actually do is let's also put the tripod on so you could go ahead and just spin this onto the uh, quarter inch. I'm sorry, maybe actually I should spin the whole unit. There we go. All right, and now I think we've got our, our setup here. So let's go ahead and try to capture that audio now on the smartphone. So I'll just go here to my phone. Maybe I'll adjust this a little bit here. Let's turn this thing on. And I'll just go to my simple camera app right now. And it's got nothing going. So I'm going to go ahead and just record some video. So now the camera is running here. Let's go ahead and here's my finger. Yep, thumbs up. Seems things are working camera, I might have mounted it upside down, but that's okay for our audio discussion here. Okay, so theoretically now, the audio is coming from the transmitter, getting sent wirelessly here to the receiver, and again, we can check our levels here, and everything looks okay, and now it should be coming out of the output here through the TRS, through the TRS into the smartphone, where we should be now capturing audio. 
So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, stop the video. Okay. And now if I go ahead and let's just unplug the cell phone for now and take it off. Because what I want to do is I want to go back and verify that actually what we captured was just video coming from the transmitter. So hopefully the audio that's on the um, on the smartphone should just be that music. It shouldn't be us talking uh, that we were just chatting about here in the room. So I'll turn this on. Yep. There we go. So that seemed to work. It looked like the camera uh, just recorded the music that was coming from that other room and not our discussion here. So I, there we are. I think that shows pretty much how to get this whole unit set up for audio recording. So I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, if so, please subscribe to the channel. We should have a couple of other videos related to using this system, um, as well as other video production and other topics of interest in the future. So thanks so much. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.